Hey guys, it's Courtney, the Coupon Kid of Chicago. Here's everything I picked up at Walgreens this week. There are a few things I do want to point out first before I get into telling you how much I paid and everything like that because um, this was ringing up at the wrong price. It was, it still printed me my $10 reward. However, it rang up at $24.99. We were supposed to make $2 on these and I ended up paying $12 for it when I don't even really use it. <laughs> um, which I was probably going to just donate it. And now, you know, it cost me money out of my pocket. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, then these were $6 and we're supposed to get $6 back. However, this did not print for me. And I know it's the right size and everything like that. I checked. There's no other ones, obviously, that's there. But it just didn't print for whatever reason. So, I did all my... Everything in the first store went pretty smoothly. Except for, you know, this and this that didn't print and didn't, wasn't the right price. In the second store, somebody had to have went in there and cleared the entire shelf of all of the Burt's Bees, the honey stuff. And I don't know if it's just because it's a new product whatever but these were basically all gone there was only like I think two of these left on the shelf all of these were gone there was only I think four of these left at the second store I went to and I was just like okay I can't really do anything with this um so I just decided to pick up a few things there so I'm going to tell you guys what I paid and saved it would have cost me $118 even I paid twenty five dollars and forty eight cents out of pocket. Of course, subtract that twelve dollars from this, which wasn't I wasn't supposed to pay, or you know the extra fifteen dollars from it um, would have been like around ten, which was what I expected to pay. Um, I saved ninety two dollars and fifty two cents, however, which is pretty good. Um, still about a hundred dollars saved, so that's okay. Um, I used thirty or forty. $43 worth of rewards and I only got back $41.98 which these ones are actually printing at a $1.99 reward so I just want to point that out in case you are rolling however you're figuring that. I will try and get um, my scenario posted by tomorrow for you guys that are going to be want a scenario um, and if I do not have a video up by on, I mean next Sunday's deals it's because I'm at my aunt's house because um, my brother's having a birthday party and I don't really want to be here. So I said I would go and help um, babysit, I guess. So, yeah, um, I will uh, break up into my transactions. Oh, yeah, and if I would have gotten the one back for this, I would have been ahead in rewards, but I actually kind of lost a few. So, yeah, not really that great, but I'll show you guys my uh, transactions. Alright, so this is transaction number one. Um, I picked up the Flex Protractors, which are on clearance at my store for $0.64, cents, which is cheaper than some of the other, you know, sale prices stuff. So, um, I just picked two of those up, which are good for school. Um, these, which are also on clearance for $0.64. Cents. These, which are $10, and we get $10 back, making those free. These are $2.99. We have a dollar coupon from this past Sunday's paper, and we get... To a dollar ninety nine back, which, like I said, it's a dollar ninety nine, not two dollars. This, which is six dollars, we're supposed to get six dollars back. Unfortunately, did not print. Um, okay, so I'll show you guys my receipt for here. You know, you can't really see that, but my subtotal came to three dollars and forty nine cents after taxes for uh, seventy one. I saved forty one dollars and sixty one cents. All right. Alright, so this, I picked up the tough paper towels with the Inag coupon or 69 cents. And, um, I know, like, I could have picked up more of the pineapple or the protractors, but I was like, for a few more cents, I'll pick up something that we can use a little bit more, um, than, you know, more protractors. <laughs> um, but yeah, then I picked up the, uh, Burt's Bees, which are $1.99, we get two back. These, again, same deal, two ninety nine, a dollar ninety nine register award, and we get have a $1 coupon. So it's free and the polygrip which is dollar 99 we get two back making those free these are four dollars we get four dollars back making those free the nivea are 2.99 there was a dollar printable from their facebook there's also a um uh what was i gonna say there's uh that we get two dollars back in reward so make that's free um if you printed that and then these, which of course, like I said, ring up the wrong price, so I ended up paying an extra twelve dollars. We we're supposed to make they're supposed to be ten. We have a two dollar coupon, we get ten back. So that's um free. 
So I'll show you that's why this one is so expensive. It was $18.69 and then after taxes $19.70, I saved $34.32, which is still about 50% savings. So that's still a pretty um, good deal. But yeah, I still paid out of pocket. So um, I'll show you guys the um, next transaction. Alright, so this is what I got at the second store. Like I said, I wanted to pick up some more of those um, breakfast bar things when I went into the store, but however, the shelf was totally cleared. Um, so, I was just going to leave, and then my dad was like, oh, well, he pulled, or reached into his pocket, he goes, oh, take these rewards. I realized I had put those aside because I wasn't getting the... Um, what you call it, the on-the-go packets because they didn't have that at either of the stores I went to. So I was like, oh, so now I have to use those up because they were expiring. So I picked, I wanted to pick up the Burt's Bees because I was like, okay, more Polygrip. I can't use more of that. I was like, the Burt's Bees, you know, the cough drops will go to better use. So um, I was just going to pick those up. Of course, they don't have those either there. So I ended up having to pick up two of them. So I picked up these and I used a $2 reward and I had to throw this in for 50 cents, which my dad was going to get anyway since we were going to walk out empty handed. Um, but he just decided, then we decided to throw this in here because we need a 50 cent filler or we need a filler. So we just threw that in. My subtotal came to 56 cents and I saved 208. Then with this one over here, the second transaction um, was... I had a $5 and a $1, or yeah, $5 and $1 register award. That's four again and $1.99, so I had to throw in a filler for a few cents just so that it wouldn't beep. So my subtotal came to $0.38 cents after tax was $51, and I saved $13.90, or $0.79. Cents. So, um, yeah, it was, you know, not that great deals, but um, you guys can find them and deals um, more on my blog, couponkidschicago.com. You guys can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus where I post deals and um, deals links to my blog and videos and things like that, pictures. Um, also, if you have any deals, I'd love to see, read, or hear about them via video, picture, or post. Um, and I hope you guys had a better week than I did um, with my little mishap and can catch this as well. All right, guys. Bye.